Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam, here's Steve. We're outside Old Trafford, on some Matt Busby way. 2-0 um, against Watford today. It's nice to get a comfortable win, isn't it? That was a really professional performance, mate. Um, I have to give a, a big nod to Eric Bay. I thought he looked fantastic yeah. today. Big nod. There you go, that was a big nod for Eric Bay. I thought he was absolutely mint today and I thought Paul Pogba wasn't far off him. I thought this was one of the best games he's had in United shirt and uh, without Carrick as well, which I find interesting. But we said at the start of the game, didn't we, when we were doing a live and we said, I like the tactics. I don't think you need Carrick at home to Watford. I think there's a time and a place when you need that number six. And I think we knew we was going to play a lot of football in their half today. And I think we set ourselves up to do that. And I thought we set ourselves up very well to do that. We, we was able to get in behind them. Like Watford play quite a high line. They're really compact when they move up and down the pitch. But they, they play quite a high line. And I thought there was so many times that we could have played a ball in behind them that we didn't. I thought that was a, that's, that's a slight on United today. It wasn't a perfect performance. Um, we created tons of chances in the first half. 13, I think. Seven on target, six off target. We finally took a chance in the first half. Scored a goal, which relieved a little bit of the pressure. I thought that... I, th I thought you could feel that the crowd and the players themselves looked like that. That was a sort of like yes, a real cool. big moment sort of thing, like actually getting a goal in the first half. In the second half, I didn't think we played great in the second half, but I thought we played with a bit more risk and a bit more freedom, and I thought we went for it a little bit more. And again, tons of chances that we had that we just didn't put in the back of the net. Tony Marshall took his chance, and I thought, again, as I said earlier, I thought he was excellent today. But I, I thought there was room for improvement with him still. I thought he could, he had more in the locker and I want to see him be more selfish. I thought he wasn't helped by Zlatan Ibrahimovic today, nor were, nor were any of the wide men. I felt Valencia got on the ball, Daly Blin got on the ball, Tony Marshall. Sometimes they look in the box and there's no one in there. Well, what is Zlatan playing at? I don't think Tony actually got on the on the ball as much as he usually does today. I thought it was quite a quiet game from Valencia, but I definitely agree. I thought that um, Zlatan was poor today. Poor in possession, poor with his movement, poor with his distribution. He lost the ball quite a lot today and his positioning was weird. There was times like you're right, we was breaking plenty of times and I like the way Mkhitaryan sometimes fills in for him as a number nine because he wasn't there. Like There was times where he was picking the ball up in like a six or an eight sort of position and we're like, you are our literal number nine. You might wear nine, but you're not what we used to criticise Wayne Rooney for? Yeah, it is, yeah. I like I like how he comes in, in off the line sometimes, but I like it when he's doing it leading the line. Like a ball's played up, that's the time for him to come in and then he plays somebody in behind. When we're going forward, uh, or Joe having a, a bit of build-up play... He should not he be at the start be, of a move, No, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't need to be involved in the build-up play. He is, li he is literally, in every sense of the word, the guy that finishes moves off. That is his job. If nothing else, the job of a striker is to put the ball in the back of the net without going completely Michael Owen on you. That's what you want Zlatan Ibrahimovic to be doing. And too often, I think... He Hashtag gets remove the curse. Hashtag remove the curse. <laughs> too often, Zlatan was getting in the mixer today when I don't think he needed to. And I think he needs to simplify his game. And some, I don't care. I, we said it about Falcao, don't, don't we? Falcao sometimes got involved in the build-up play too much and wasn't on the spot where he needed to be to put the ball in the back of the net. And I said, I am happy for my striker to be the laziest man on the pitch. If all he has to do is that, every now and then. He had to do that today with that's his head and he went with his foot. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I think he complicates the game a little bit too much. Simplify the game and I think he'll be fine. Paul Pogba, why has he not got a song? It's annoying me a little bit now. I think we're trying to think of something. You got one. The guy behind me had one today, and it's uh, I can believe he's not skulls, which I thought was quite <laughs> funny. But uh, <laughs> but I think he needs. But I, I like some of the balls that he was playing. I we think were, he's been asked to keep it more simple, especially when Carrick's not in the team. Because before, remember we used to say he gets the ball and he thinks too much and he wants to step over and he wants to not make. And then today he's, he's been keeping. He is, but not in that position of the pitch in front of the defence where he was at There was a real quality to the balls he was delivering. I mean, he was he was knocking it about side to side, spraying it around, uh, and also some balls over the top. He's got a real... I, I thought his decision-making was good today, for, and it hasn't been in the last few weeks. Sometimes he's done stuff and it's just not come off. He's just gone straight out, or it's gone to nobody, and that didn't happen much today. It felt like everything he was doing was sort of the right thing to do at the right sort of time today. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm uh, doing Mkhitaryan a bit of a disservice here today as well, because I thought he was good as well. I thought his movement on the ball. I, I, I like the lineup. I like the lineup. I think Mata brings something um, in and around that last man because he's, he's agile and he's quick and he gets into little gaps. Mkhitaryan brings something. I thought it was a real blend of completely different footballers offering something completely different. And I was impressed with that lineup. And I think that's a lineup that you might or possibly should see a little bit more often at home. I don't understand, and this isn't me slagging Fellaini off, but I don't understand the tactical reason for bringing Fellaini on and switching back to a 4-3-3 at 2-0, that late in the game. He's just sub-matter, it. That's just what happens. 
I, I can't I just go I too soon. I just don't, yeah, it is. It is his go to sub. Yeah, uh, we need to make some freshen things up. I know, take off Matter. Rash if Matter had good. pace, he'd be Mickey Terrian, wouldn't he? They're very similar footballers, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Bringing Rashford on with 10 minutes to go was great. Rash Rashford was having, he was doing whatever he wanted with that fullback, and it was good to see it. And he was unlucky with some of the chances that he created. And that wouldn't have been a better first sub, but I, I just, this is, like I said, this isn't a criticism of Fellaini. It's just that I, I don't understand the tactical reason. When you bring on Rashford for Marshall, 10 minutes to go, you go, we're keeping that pressure on that fullback. Rashford's going to create some chances. We're still going for stuff. What is the tactical reason to change back to a three man? We wasn't getting overrun in midfield. We was having our way with the midfield with just two of them. So I didn't quite understand it. I thought if he was going to sub anyone today, Zlatan would have been the substitution and maybe even play Marshall. Do we need to challenge him? Do we need to say, look, you're playing poorly. Let's put Rashford on. Change it up. Maybe Rashford not, may score. Put some pressure on. Putting Rashford on. Uh, or, Rooney or even. Just, just, yeah, just take him off. Excuse Rooney. Move Marshall. Stay. Yeah, I, I got no issue with Wayne Rooney, mate. I don't know where this comes from. Like, <laughs> so you the, want Rooney to start next game ahead of Zlatan, is what you're saying? I'd put Rooney in my team for this week, I think. For, for, this, for the, today's Sad game. Is that it, No, for today's game. I'm sure I did. Oh, no, I might have put Lingard in. I put Lingard or Rooney in, any, either way. So, so you're dropping down the table then, aren't you? Um, no, I think I only got one wrong. I only got one wrong today. And that was... Basically, you got it wrong. I got more right than you. I wasn't involved. Exactly. They're keeping me out, you know. And it should do the team ratings. Why are they keeping me out, Steve? Because you talk nonsense. Have you ever seen you? Have you listened to yourself? Me, yeah. I'm mint. Do you know what we're doing right now? Yeah. What we ate? Let's stop. <laughs> uh, player ratings. David De Gea. One of them saves he made. Oh, yep. my God. Um, I think I did a sex wee in my pants. Clean sheet. Um, pulled out a, a ridiculous save. Just before he took the free kick as well, I was going... They're taking the time with this, aren't they? Like, how prepared do you need to be for a free kick? I was like, this is going straight into the wall. Oh, good save, mate. So, yeah. Um, Did you call him Bay then? Uh, mate. Oh. Eight, eight for Dave. Uh, Tony V. Quiet game, six and a half today. Daily Blin. Um, six and a half. Heard his six and a half on the flop. Uh, Smalling. I thought he was decent, Smalling, today. Still worry about his distribution a little bit, but uh, physically, I like it. And I think Jose Mourinho is probably going to favour those two a little bit because of the physicality that they offer. Rojo's probably got a good chance of coming back in into the mix and that because he offers a little bit more on the ball as well. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Smalling and Bay played a bit more often. A lot of people today have said Smalling's fourth in the pecking order. That's something I've also said, so it's not I'm not digging them out. But is that maybe unfair considering Smalling had the captain's arm right on today? Or do you not read anything into that at all? No, I think it, it might be right. It might be right. They might be actually bang on with it. Um, and I was thinking, John, you mentioned it in the live earlier, Smalling is the captain's wearing the armband. I was thinking, on form at the moment, he's probably the worst player on the pitch for us, which isn't a criticism of him, essentially. It's, it's that everybody else that's been selected is, is doing well, more than, more than that he's not doing well. Uh, but you might be right, he might be the fourth choice at the moment because Jones uh, has come in and has surprised everybody, but although he's injured now, so that, <laughs> which isn't a surprise. That, that might be him. Um, so he might be third in the pecking order, but I think Rojo, uh, you know, when people are being undeniable, that's what I like to see. People are undeniable. You can't drop them. It's as simple as that. And that's what Rojo and Jones have done them for themselves this season. Pogba. Uh, we didn't do Bay. Oh, did I not Bay? I'm going to give him a nine. I thought you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nine. Yeah, he was mint today, wasn't he? was class. And he was like, there was one... Was, on the well, more than once. There was about three times where I thought, oh, he's been beaten there. And then he just... Sticks out this long leg and pulls up. He's got like a go-go gadget foot on it. Oh, what is going on with that? I don't know how he does it sometimes. Yeah, but he's, I, I was really impressed with him today. Calm on the ball, decisive, aggressive, everything that you want from a centre half. Pogba. Uh, eight and a half, just under Bay, I think. Herrera. Eight, solid eight. Good player, very underrated. Mickey Terrier. Eight. Can you say his name without singing it? That's what I want to know. Um, yeah, Mickey Terrier. <laughs> You famously don't sing at games, so I suppose that explains it. <laughs> I thought apart from his goal, um, he had a couple of good runs which didn't really end up getting on the end of stuff. But he wasn't great. He wasn't a standout performance from Matter, so I'm going to say a seven. Um, Marshall. Eight and a half. Zlatan, does he get an NA? No, I'm going to give him a five. He was very poor. Um, he needs to uh, pull his socks up, otherwise... Um, well, he's not going to get Shin dropped. Shin pads will fall off. Let's face it, he's not going to get dropped, is he? But um, there should be some pressure being put on him. Um, if you're going to rest him, you're going to rest him. But I think there needs to be some pressure. He needs to at least think that he might get dropped. I think that's a, a good thing for him. He needs to not be thinking this is the end of the road in his career and he needs to just be able to cruise to the end of his career. He needs to be able to actually um, put some stuff in, I think. 
we need to put his position under pressure, I think, is what we need to do. Um, which would probably help if we had Rooney firing and etc. But we haven't. Right, guys, thank you for listening. Get your player ratings in below. Get your man of the matches in below. Um, get your thoughts on Steven. Um, hashtag remove the curse at Michael Owen. Anything else? No, we might have moved up the table today. Results dependent. Thanks for that information, Michael Owen. <laughs>